Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pizza Treasures. Today I thought I would do a spring break live thrift haul because it's technically the first day of spring break. Um, you know, I'm a teacher but we have a business on the side which is selling on eBay. So we went to several thrift stores throughout the past two weeks and just wanted to show you some things that we got. Um, we have a little bit of everything um, so maybe we'll hit all kinds of interest and this is not a live sale I just simply enjoy sharing what we like to look for to make money on eBay and also keep for ourselves um, If you like to see more videos like this you can follow us on YouTube at Pete's Treasures as well as Instagram and Facebook it's at shop Pete's Treasures and if you're interested in anything just send us a message and we can hook you up so Let's get into it, and thanks for joining us on this beautiful spring day. Alrighty, quite a bit of stuff. Looky there. Let's start with a really cool story. Actually, it's a short story, but I always hear of people finding money in things that they thrift. Also, people love to find tissues and stuff in pockets. Well, I was at St. Vincent's in the Dallas area, of course. That's one of my honey holes or favorite places to go uh, because they have such cheap prices. And this was $3. It is crunchy. <laughs> I like to say the word crunchy if something is like really new feeling. Um, super, super cool Walt Disney World backpack with no flaws. Um, a good place to check for flaws is this mesh or these little straps, they can get frayed and damaged. But anyways, when I got it home, Matthew found $20 in there. I don't know if I mentioned the price. I got it for $3. Uh, it was $5, but teachers get 40% off on Mondays, and that's when I like to go. It works out really nicely. So we made money without even having to sell it, and now we're going to list it for $25. So uh, I was just so excited. I had never found money um, <laughs> in an item before. So let me know if you've ever found money uh, when looking through th items that you've purchased. But yeah, this was a cool record. I love Carol King, and I just loved the cover, so that's why I got it. Um, this is Carol King Really Rosy. Includes original TV soundtrack recordings, blah, 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 blah. Maurice Sindak. Um, did the pictures and the story, and he is the author of Little Bear, and he does a lot of children's books. So that was pretty cool. Um, I do pick up records here and there. This is just in, you know, good condition, not great, but it was only like a dollar, and I just love it. I think I'm going to keep it, but I think it does sell for between 12 and $15. So that was a cool pickup. Matthew and I love to pick up loveys. And this one is really interesting because look at these little tags. And in fact, on the brand tag, it's called Taggies. Oh, yeah, there we go, Taggies. And this is 2018, either that or 2008. Hold on, let me look in there. Get on in there. 2012. Okay, so I was way off. But anyways, this can go for $35, y'all. So look out for the brand Taggies. Hey, Lisa. Oh, he wrote Where the Wild Things Are. That's true. And I think there's all other ones, too. Of course there are. My brother started collecting his books. Um, so yeah, look out for Loveys called Taggies. And it's so cute. Uh, this I kind of got for myself. I mean, it has a little flaw right there. I thought it was really cute. It was 83 cents. I know that's such a random price, but that's 40% off one thirty nine. I know my price is at St. Vincent's. <laughs> um, now, this was really interesting. It is a United Sight Services puzzle. Yes, the brand that makes porta potties. Porta potties, not porter potties. Anyways, couldn't find anything like that online. It was probably a company promotion or just like a gift. Who knows, but it's, we listed it for about 15 I think. Love finding puzzles when they're sealed. It makes life so much easier. This was a really interesting find. Oh, and it's dirty. Sorry, there's dog hair. We have three dogs. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. I love it. 
love it. It has this little gold leaf around the rim. This was like $1.39, and um, yeah, super heavy duty. I think it's like a kid's little snack bowl. It reminds me of a dog bowl, but obviously it's like a, you know, snack bowl. This I got for myself. It was $3, but I have a little Hallmark mouse tree. I know that's so specific. My brother's watching. Hello, Andrew. Um, <laughs> I had to get it. It goes perfectly with all the other ones. And we have a Christmas tour video where you can check out that mouse tree. You know, if you have some time to burn. <laughs> I love... Oh, I don't love banging things on the table. Ooh, porridge bowl. See, Lisa, good to have you here. 1930s to 1940s porridge bowl. Perfect. I needed to know that keyword, porridge. I love Fitz and Floyd. I knew this was Fitz and Floyd right away. I don't know the pattern name. I looked it up. I did some light research, y'all. We tend to get pretty large hauls, and, you know, I tend to forget. But Fitz and Floyd Essentials. Um, love it. It was $2, and I would keep it. But Fitz and Floyd sells pretty well for us, depending on what it is. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll let it go. Don't know the price, though. Um, once again, this haul is just to show you guys what kinds of things we look for at the thrift store. And I tried to make a little diverse group of items for you. I knew this was Mikasa right away. I love Mikasa um, stoneware. And it is the Natural Beauty line, Bountiful. Um, first of all, I did not know there were the pears. When I looked it up in the store, I only found the pears. I did not find the oranges. But this was a stack of six plates for $5. So for less than a dollar each, I was super happy to find these pears underneath because these go between $12 and $15 for one single dinner plate. So we might do it individually. Who knows? They're so heavy, but we ship a lot of glassware. So yeah, that could potentially be about $90. Doubt it. Probably end up being about $50, but you got to start high, you know? Um, this I knew from a previous listing we had. It is Pier 1. I always pick up Pier 1. This is the Elizabeth pattern, and I love when they have the tag still. Um, yeah, this is a salad plate. It should go for about $10. It's not, it's not the biggest seller. Now, Pier 1, I thought, was retired, but really it's just the stores, at least in the U.S., that closed, but they still sell online, I believe. At first, when, you know, I heard that news, I thought they were going out of business completely, but that's an older pattern that people like. Now, these picked up at a place called Casa View Thrift. It is Majolica, and Majolica is made in Portugal sometimes. It's really just a style like a lead glaze, I think, um, or a lead-based glaze, I'm not sure. Um, I never claim to be an expert, but don't know how to say that word, but Hermano, Portugal. I found a set of four of these in different brands, different patterns, but they're all like cabbage leaves, and these, I believe, are tea saucers based on the ring in the middle, and they always sell in a set of four. Um, for about $49, so that was a dollar each, and I thought that was just a great deal, and I love Majolica, I think it's beautiful, it looks well made, and it's cute. Um, this is just a piece of studio pottery, and I don't pick up every piece of studio pottery that I find, because sometimes it's hard to look up, and there's a lot out there nowadays, um, which is a good thing, because the build quality is so nice, and this doesn't have any markings, I believe, but I just thought it was really pretty um, for a dollar. So who knows what we'll put that up as. It's like a little cereal bowl. Oh, I just think it's so pretty. Um, there's some talented people in this world. Moving right along, we love to pick up plush. That's one of our main bread and butter items. And Matthew, my husband, is really into plush. Now, I found this at the Casa View Thrift. And it didn't even occur to me it was Black Panther. He had this weird outfit on. But a thing we like to do is we like to undress the Build-A-Bears in the store if there's better Build-A-Bear clothes on a different one. <laughs> because usually the outfits have nothing to do with the actual plush. It's just whatever outfit someone 
bought in the store. And I think this one had a sailor's uniform on. Anyways, this is Black Panther, and we have it listed for $35. So, you know, Build-A-Bear is kind of hit and miss. There's so many common ones, but we like to look for interesting characters. So, always looking at Build-A-Bear. Now, there is an American grocery store that we used to have called Piggly Wiggly, and I haven't seen anything from Piggly Wiggly in ages. This is a 2018 Piggly Wiggly plush. Oh, let's look at his cape. Isn't that cute? I just love it, love it, love it. Yeah, this was $5. Actually, it didn't have a price, but this was $5, and she said, let's just make it the same price. And Matthew had looked it up, and it could sell for about $25, so that's a great profit. But I might keep it, because it reminds me of my childhood. There was a Piggly Wiggly in Louisville, and I don't know. I'm not sure where the chain is still at. Oh, North Dakota. Oh, interesting. So thanks, Lisa. So Piggly Wiggly, yeah, still in our country, just not sure where. Um, this is Starbucks, of course. I still love to pick up Starbucks coffee mugs. They can be hit or miss. This is 2008. And my father used, I mean, he gave me an Austin one and a Dallas one. Um, and I keep them. And, you know, I lost my father. So this style of mug means a lot to me for some reason. And I actually don't see this very often. But this one's Boston. It was only 95 cents. I need to get that grease marker out. Anyways, they hold a lot of um, 18 ounces. So I love it. Uh, and I think this style still sells pretty well. Um, I knew what this was right away. It's the giant microbes. They have stuffed animals of all of these diseases <laughs> and body parts. But anyways, here are some little germs, little viruses, little amoeba. Everything you can imagine from STDs to, you know, neurons. Anyways, <laughs> this was a mug. I'm going to keep it. It was like 95 cents. I thought that was so cute. Right up my alley, moving right along, we have the English Heritage brand, and it's Stonehenge. I love picking up mugs. If you've seen my thrift hauls, we love to pick up mugs. This is made in England. Now, I actually follow the YouTube channel of English Heritage, and they have cooking videos and really, really cool historical-type um, informational videos. And I've sold a Stonehenge mug from English Heritage before, but it wasn't this style. Me too, Becky. I love coffee mugs. Usually they're cheap. Wow, I have six people here. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, usually you can get mugs for cheap, and once you get used to shipping them, they're pretty easy. And my mom's watching. Hi, mom. Speaking of my mom, <laughs> I got these for her. These are not worth much, probably, but they are monotronics, Champagne flutes, and I got four of them for 41 cents each, and that just so happens to be where she works, so I thought that was so random. <laughs> Andrew likes the microbes mug. I know I do too. I always want to find them at a thrift store. I think I've found one before. It was like a bacteria with flagella, you know, the little lines that come out. <laughs> um, this is a U.S. Open tennis mug. And yeah, nothing special about the brand, I don't think. But the thing is, I love watching tennis. I want to go to the U.S. Open one day, but it always starts when school is starting. And, you know, my district, we're going to have an even earlier start date. So I, I wonder if I'll ever get to go to the U.S. Open. So anyways, I got this for myself, but then I looked at eBay solds and listings. And surprisingly, in my light research, I didn't find any U.S. Open coffee mugs, and I would think that would be extremely abundant. So you never know. I need to do more research, but really cool find for 50 cents. Um, this, y'all, I don't know why I get some of these things. I, actually, I do. We all like different things. I just so happen to like anthropomorphic food items. Isn't that very specific? I just thought this was cute, y'all. It's a Denny's The Grand Slams. <laughs> okay, y'all are spending your Monday watching me talk about a cup. Anyways, <laughs> isn't YouTube and Facebook fun? Anyways, both for 50 cents each. I just liked them. Haven't looked them up. Might be for me. 
I thought this was a really pretty pink drip glaze mug with a W on the bottom. Now, the only pottery brand I know with a W um, is Weller. I doubt this is Weller. But anyways, I need to look it up more. I thought it was pretty. I like the angled um, handle. You're right, Becky. Some people might want those Denny's cups. I, the only thing is I think it's going to be cheap, but you never, ever know. So I might sell it. You're right. Maybe I'll keep one. What am I going to do with it? I, have, I don't have enough room. Anyways, um, this is... Okay, where are my 80s and 90s babies at? Look at this Rocky and Bowwinkle, Natasha, va va voom, Bama, Bama, Bama. Anyways, it's a jelly jar from, when is it from? Universal Studios, Collect All Six. Oh, I'm so distracted. Anyways, I think this is from the 90s. <laughs> Barry, what do you mean I did what? <laughs> um, this I got because not only is it beautiful, but it is Otagiri. Otagiri Mercantile Company. I love Otagiri. Um, and this is the original foil sticker, which I don't see this very often. Yes, jelly jar. love jelly jars. This, I believe, is a little tea mug. Can't you just picture pouring you a little tension tame of tea in that after a hard work week? Anyways, I just remembered I'm out of tension tamer. Okay, <laughs> this is so beautiful. This is signed, engraved, C. Goodman. And I, I'm so glad I was able to decipher what that was. Sometimes I'm not good with signatures. 1994. This was 83 cents, y'all. It wasn't even put out yet. I love finding the go-out carts because that's usually where I find a lot of the good stuff. Um, but anyways, for 83 cents, this could turn a profit for about 20 bucks. I think it's so pretty. Um, but there's lots of different ones. They, they have round ones that go for about 95 to 100, but I think this one's just about 20. Super, super nice. I love it. Moving right along. As we were at the checkout, Matthew saw this Disney collector pin for Figment. Figment is one of Matthew's favorite characters. Um, he's not the most popular character, and it is limited edition of 1500, 2008. And we don't have a lot of pins. We really want to go to Disney soon. I haven't been to, since the year 2000 uh, with my family, so I want to go as an adult. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know the state of the world right now. But anyways, I digress. This was $2.92. Um, and it can, uh, it's about worth that much between 5 and 10 We're just going to keep it. And it looks nice. You would think it'd be worth a little more, but collector pins, I think, can be very plentiful. Now, we live in Dallas. This is a Cowboy Stadium inaugural season 2009 shot glass with the tag. And I have a lot of Cowboys fans in my family, so that might end up being a present. I don't think it probably goes for much, but I thought that was really cool that it was the inaugural shot glass or whatever. Now, this I love. For some reason, I just love the thought of the Millennium Um this is the Cruise of the Millennium, Crystal Symphony, International Dateline, and then obviously the Millennium Date. Now, the reason I picked it up is because Villaroy and Bach um, is a great company. We have sold uh, pretty high prices for anything we pick up by that brand. It's not all golden, but, but this just looked super, super cool. And I looked it up. It can go for about 50 bucks. And this was $2, y'all. It has this pretty little silver ring on it, and I just loved it for some reason. Maybe because it's pretty, and of course, Villaroy and Bach. Now, this next thing is a bolo, a be on the lookout. Um, I knew what it was right away because I've sold two different things from them. This is Gail Pittman, and sorry about that sticker. The plates don't have the sticker. Gail Pittman is an artist who makes dishware, I guess, but it's for Southern Living at Home, or Southern Living Home, whatever. Um, this is one of those, like, salad bowls. This was $3. It can go for about 18 or so. Um, you know. This one is Gail Pittman as well. I got for $3. That's a little pricey. 
Um, I didn't look it up. Oh, there you go. Southern Living at Home, Gail Pittman. You can see it more clearly. These originally sold in sets of four, and I think they go for about 18. So, uh, might just list this for 12 and take a best offer. Who knows? That's even really high. But let's get to these plates. These were a dollar each, and these are much better. After they're cleaned up, they should go between 15 and 18 a piece. Now, that's just a great profit when you get it for a dollar. This is why I like dishware and figuring out which ones sell. So always look out for Gail Pittman. We also sold a pitcher, um, which was kind of big and hard to ship, or, you know, at least taxing to ship. But it still sold for $20. So anyways, we have... Yeah, I forgot the pattern. I was about to tell you the pattern, but then I realized I don't remember. But that's okay, because you can always look it up, right? This one has a green rim, and the other two have a red rim. So perhaps we could sell them in sets of two or three. I don't know, but then it gets super heavy. We'll see. All right, we just sold a Louisville stoneware mug for Holly Hobby, and uh, it was like eleven fifty plus shipping. Um, but I found this dog bowl. It's personalized for a dog named Ruggles. I hope you're still out there, Ruggles. If not, thank you for your bowl. It's very well made and nice. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just glaze. Okay. Ooh, I thought it was a chip. Super, super heavy. Made in Kentucky, of course. Um, and yeah, it was a dollar thirty-nine, and I think it can go between fifteen and twenty. Because there are some that just sold for different dogs. There was like one for a dog that sold called Bo Oscar. Very specific name. And this is a very specific name. It's not just like Spot or Chunky Boy or something. <laughs> Anyways, I think it could sell even though someone might not have a dog with that name. Moving right along. I was jumping up and down, not literally in my mind when I saw this because whenever I take a trip to the liquor store, um, I see this brand and there's Picasso. There's a, recently there's a Picasso um, type. I don't know what I'm saying. The, <laughs> let's get to the tequila. The tequila brand is Los Azulejos. Azulejos? I don't know. Añejo. Um, and anyways, this is, it has a date. Let me make sure this is insecurely. Oh, hey, Jose. There we go. It had, I th oh, there it is. There it is. It has the date, 2014. At first, I thought I took the tag off. I'm like, oh, no. But this bottle can go for about $50. I did uh, spend $5 on it, but I really, really like it. It's very artistic looking to me, and I wanted the Picasso one, so now I have it. Yes, I live for it as well. Um, this, I have never seen this style of milk glass. Glassware experts, let me know. Have you seen this color before? Oh, hey, Jason. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yes, I just love this bottle so much. Me too, Andrew. Um, yeah, it might stay with me. Um, too bad there's no tequila. Anyways, um, this, I have just never seen this color or style of milk glass. Cus you know, Lisa, I was thinking custard glass. Um, for some reason, I thought custard had to be um, yellow. I love custard glass, um, but maybe there's different colors of custard glass. Now that I think about it, I've seen blue custard glass. This is like a little cup you would use when you're brushing your teeth or something, or like a juice glass. Um, but yeah, you're probably right, and I just, I just love it. It was less than a dollar, and I need to get more info about that. You could very much be right. Either way, it's beautiful, and it's different, and it's unusual, and it's nice. Okay, does anyone watch Kath and Kim? That's where I got that from. <laughs> um, this, if that ain't me right now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, like a nightstand glass. Jose, you're right. Wow, I have eight people watching. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your Monday. Um, this is just a resin bunny, and she thick. Five dollars. I just had to get it. It might stay with me. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to look it up. Um, this is super, super heavy. Think, oh, Lord. Speaking of thick, this was $3, and it is Better Homes and Gardens. 
which, you know, you can find at Walmart, but not all Walmart things are cheap. Um, I don't know. This, oh my gosh, will be super heavy. It must be at least five pounds. Either that or I need to hit the gym. Um, I love it. It's the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, yeah. 12 days of Christmas. And I think I'm going to set that one back down because I'm not doing a very good job. Um, it is a platter, of course. And, <laughs> and yeah, I just, I just love it. I mean, that's it. And I think, okay, here's the deal. There were some plates, but it was an even, it, there was an odd number. Um, and they had, I don't know, I wanted like either a set of eight or a set of six, but it was like seven. And I'm like, ugh, I just don't want to pick that up. But I got the platter. Yes, I thought it was gorgeous too. The checkout person at Goodwill loved it too. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Um, and then I found these little salt and pepper shakers in the box for $2.00. And I thought I could take a look at that. I think they're very pretty. Very, very pretty. And let's see. Am I missing anything? That might be all. So, stay tuned for more thrift hauls on our YouTube channel, Pete's Treasures. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I think I'm going to film a little more because we got lots of stuff. And now that it's spring break, I'm going to go hit some antique malls. And we have to pick up some tiki mugs from an auction that they never gave us the last time. Um, and yeah, we don't even know what brand they are, but they're Fu Manchu. Um, yes, I wanted those plates, Becky. I don't know why I didn't get them. I think because I looked at solds and they weren't very good. Um, but yeah, maybe I should. But you have no idea how much plate, how many plates we have. It's like a plate factory in here. Yes, Jason, they're just two Fu Manchu. I don't even know what brand they could be. Smash and Runaways, Sarah's. Um, but out of everything we bought in the auction, they forgot to include them. And, it, and I don't know why. We just looked over it, I guess. So we're going to go pick those up. And I'll let y'all know, you know, what kind they are. But either way, I don't have any Fu Manchu tiki mugs. So it was pretty cool. And so, yeah, <laughs> there are two, Jose, two, uh, two Fu Manchu tiki mugs. I wonder what brand they are. But yes, Becky, I, I wish you lived closer to, I know, I love having thrifting buddies. Right now, Matthew and my mom and Andrew, my twin, are my only thrifting buddies. No, my brother Barry uh, thrifts as well. We're like a thrifty family. Jose, are you asking how many plates I own? Because that is a loaded question. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Um, oh, tiki mugs. I've just started my collection. Um, these are some of my favorites over here. One of them is Jason's, who's in the chat. So anyways, that's just some of my favorites. Maybe I could do a tiki mug collection tour one day. I need to get better stuff. No, but you know what? I'm learning. <laughs> uh, oh, that would be so cool, Becky. What part of Texas are you from, Becky? Aren't you from Texas? If you're in the Austin area, my twin lives in Kyle. Um, so maybe y'all could have a little thrift outing. Yes, we need to have a little Texas thrift tour. Thank you, Jason. I like the mug, too. Um, I got it, you know, from a pretty cool person. Um, oh, you're an awesome Becky. You and my brother should definitely get together or when I visit because I'm going to get my second vaccine next Saturday as well. So I'll feel more comfortable, you know, being around other human creatures. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. Thank you guys for joining me on this Facebook Live um, this is going to be posted to YouTube. Check out our other videos. We like to show what we get and just share information that we learn along the way. And yeah, if you're interested in anything, hit us up, cut you a deal. But I just like to do this for fun. Enjoy your Monday and keep digging for treasure because it's not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. And as you can see, we like to sell a lot of things, but I like to keep a lot of things. I really want to keep this Piggly Wiggly. Anyways, have a good day.